Hi, good to see you. Hi, girls and boys. We were just dancing to the song, Father Abraham. Do you know it? Well, today's lesson happens to be about God's promise to Abraham. That's right. It's a great story and a familiar story for a lot of people. God appeared to Abraham and say to, said to Abraham, I am going to give you so many children, it's going to be like the stars. Now, what do you think that God meant by that? I bet you Samuel can help us figure it out. Take it away, Samuel. Hello, friends. It's Samuel. Abraham and Sarah went on a long journey of faith with God. One day, God invited Abraham outside and told him to look at all the stars. While Abraham was looking up, God promised him a family as big as the number of stars in the sky. That was a lot of stars. This was really hard to believe. How could this be possible? Abraham and his wife Sarah were already very old, and they didn't have any children yet. How would they have as many kids as there were stars? Even though he didn't know how it would happen, Abraham had faith and believed in God's promises. He believed that God's promises would come true, even if he didn't understand how. Abraham showed his faith by trusting God on the journey. Sometimes it can be really hard to want something that you can't have yet, even when you've asked God about it. Abraham and Sarah really wanted children, but they didn't have any yet. What are the things that you want for your life? I think that I want to be an astronaut one day. It'd be so cool to walk on the moon and step into the sky I see every day. I want to get on a space shuttle, maybe even go to other planets one day. That would be such a cool job. Well, I may or may not be an astronaut someday, We'll have to wait and see, but I do know that whatever my journey is, it will be good because God will go with me and I can always have faith in God. Now it's your turn to wonder. Wow, we want to thank Samuel for telling that story. And you know, it's actually kind of an interesting story that, that applies to us because, you know, in this story, actually, Abraham was a little confused because back a few chapters ago, in last week's session, God had promised Abraham that he would be the father of a great nation. That's right. And it hadn't happened yet. And so Abraham couldn't really figure out what was going on. So God appeared to Abraham and said, Abraham, do not worry. Do not be afraid because I am your God and I'm going to take care of you. And let's go outside, Abraham, and let's, I'll show you the stars. And here's the promise that I'm going to make to you, the same promise I made before, but I'm going to assure you that I will be faithful and I will be true. And so that was, those words of assurance were really important for Abraham. And those words of assurance are really important for us too in our lives, because sometimes we do get confused about what's happening in the world. And it's important for us to know that God is with us and God is watching out for us, just like he did for Abraham. That's right. And so today in your activity books, you might be doing Abraham puzzle. You might be making constellations by, by connecting the yellow stars, or you might just read about some really fun and interesting facts about the stars and the night sky. But whatever it is, you have fun with it. And remember that in your family activity book, you have all kinds of great ideas, including ones about spiritual practice. Do you know what a spiritual practice is? Hmm. Well, I can tell you that a spiritual practice is anything that we do that brings us closer to God, that, that deepens our relationships with God. And so, for example, doing your Sunday school lesson is a spiritual practice. Reading your Bible is a spiritual practice. Going for a nature walk, like we did a couple of weeks ago, is a spiritual practice. And so those are all the kinds of things, like this week, 
If we go outside some night and we look at all of the stars in the sky, and if we think about how great and magnificent God is, and how, <clears throat> and how that can remind us about God, that's a spiritual practice. And the spiritual practice from last week was about breathing. If we breathe in really deep and hold our breath, and if we can imagine that as being like God filling us, that's a spiritual practice too. So Pastor Scott, is prayer a spiritual practice? Actually, it is. And I think that we could have a prayer right now. Perfect idea. So let's stop and take a nice deep breath and feel the presence of God fill us. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of your presence. We also thank you for the ways that you watch out for us and you protect us and you care for us. And we thank you for all of your promises. And we especially thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. And we say all of this in his name. Can you all say amen with me, everybody? Amen. amen. So do you think we should have the children join us? I think we should. You guys want to sing and dance along with Father Abraham? <laughs>